Okay guys, so I did a good amount of shopping today. Um, I needed to pick up a couple things from Office Max. But seeing as how they were in the area, I went to both Goodwill and the Salvation Army because I haven't, you know, gone over there in a while. And sometimes they have stuff that I'm interested in. Um, <clears throat> seeing as how this is right in front of me. I got a lot of this stuff here because, you know, I have a lot of old computers and laptops and such. There's one right over there that I've been working on. That one's almost done, by the way. But uh, I figured it'd be cool to have some of this older software on it. Um, I remember using this as a kid, Kid Pick Studio. It was like a uh, Microsoft Paint on steroids, if I remember correctly. Um, <clears throat> this is actually a music CD, but it kind of ties in with everything else I got. The best of the Yellow Jackets. Uh, they're actually a jazz group. Um, I've actually got a pretty big interest in classical and jazz type music, so I picked that up. It was pretty cheap, and by the way, they gave me a deal on all this stuff, too. I wasn't expecting that. You kind of just saw the side of this one, but I picked up Myst as well. Believe it or not, I've never played this game before. I've always heard a lot of good things about it. And by the way, all the CDs in these are in very good shape. Um, there's only a couple scratches here on this one. But, you know, it's, it's mainly just, you know, barely, barely a scratch. Um, I didn't actually check that one, by the way, but this Myst one is in perfect shape perfect condition. So I figured that'd be kind of cool to play on this old Toshiba, you know, whenever I get around to it. I also thought this was kind of cool as well, Microsoft Golf. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what this is. I'm assuming it's Windows 95. In fact, I'll go ahead and open this for you guys. I should have done it there. Oh, Microsoft Works. Well, that's cool. Disk is in good shape too. Interesting. I thought this was uh, Windows 95. I didn't even realize that they had opened it. I just, you know, picked it up thinking that, you know, it was in, it was still brand new and that wasn't broken. I guess I should have uh, looked at that. And then I also got this, Microsoft Office Professional and Bookshelf. I think this is Office 95. I think. It might be the one before that, but again, I figured this would be kind of, kind of a fun thing to have just to, uh, you know, put on some of those old computers that I've got. So that's all the CDs here. I'm um, also going to cover a couple of, of the, all the things I got from Office Max. I also picked this game up. I used to play this game as a kid um, in middle school a lot. And uh, Office Max had it for $9.99 and I saw it and I was all, yeah, I'm going to have to pick that up. Uh, I've, I've always been a fan of these earlier Battlefield games. So that's why I got that. I also picked up a bunch of uh, blank CDs and Sharpies. These were on sale for like $11.99 or something like that. I just got 50 of them. That's mainly just for the uh, old computers that I have. I've got a bunch of old uh, software and stuff backed up, and here's the shar Sharpies. Like I've got uh, Duke Nukem 3D and, you know, games like that. Um, as far as the records that I picked up today go, uh, for a lot of you guys that are into records and stuff like that, um, especially you, Cramage, I don't know if you're going to really find much of an interest in any of this. At least I don't think you would. Because a large, actually I think all the stuff I picked up today record-wise is classical music. Um, so I don't know if you or really any of my other subscribers like classical music. Um, but this is some of the stuff that I picked up. I haven't heard of him before, but, you know, I like listening to newer cla or, uh, classical music that I haven't heard before. I'll get to my collection of classical stuff here in a minute, um, just in case, for whatever reason, you guys don't believe me that I do listen to classical. Um, Beethoven, you can't go wrong. Sixth Symphony. My favorite is the Seventh Symphony. <clears throat> I also got Tchaikovsky. Uh, I think I have a couple more of his, uh, well... You know, I guess you can say covers, but, uh, you know, I, I think I've got a couple other records of uh, symphonies playing his music and everything. But uh, this one is the Pathetke Sixth, sixth symph Symphony. Oh, man, that's a mouthful. I also got this one. This is one that I already had, but this one is in really good condition, and I had to pick it up. It's actually one of my favorite pieces by Tchaikovsky. 
Um, it's just such an epic piece that I had to get another copy of it. But uh, even my HD camera doesn't do a very good job of showing off the quality of records. Um, but uh, there's pretty much just fingerprints and everything on it. Um, and then right here, there's a small scratch. You guys can probably barely see that. Um, that might affect the playability a little bit, at least on that part of the piece. Um, but yeah, I've always loved classical music. Um, it's not, I will say that it's not something that I listen to every day, even though I probably should. But it's one of those types of uh, music that I have to be in the right mood to want to listen to it. And sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. I have a lot of different musical tastes, and uh, sometimes I do want to listen to some classical or jazz music. And, I mean, with how cheap classical records are, it's, you know, it's a no-brainer for me. I also got this one. This is another one that I have. I like a lot of the old, uh, old uh, Spanish guitar music and stuff like that. These two I picked up thinking that I didn't know where they were. Um, but I ended up finding them, and I'll get to those in a minute. I'm also going to showcase uh, some of my classical record collection. and Some of my rock albums worked their way into this stack that I brought into the house. Um, I also thought this one was kind of cool. It's actually a two, a two vinyl set, I think. Actually, shit, I think it's missing. Nope, not missing one. Um, but I'll go ahead and pull these out for you guys to look at. And I didn't see this, but it's got a pretty gnarly, uh, it doesn't look like a scratch, it just looks like somebody rubbed it. And uh, right here it looks like a scratch as well. That's kind of disappointing. Um, usually I don't like to pick up records from Goodwill or Salvation Army because of that reason. And sometimes I do forget to, you know, I get so caught up in the fact that I actually found something I might be interested in that I forget to look over some of this stuff and... Like right now, I don't know how much that's going to affect the playability. It may, it may not. Um, some of those uh, rubbing type scratches on vinyl records, sometimes you can get away with it. You can barely tell the difference. Other times it's just horrible and causes the whole needle to skip, which, yeah, I mean, that kind of that kind of sets you back a little bit and gets you a little disappointed. But it really, it is what it is. Um, and then really quickly, I don't know how quickly, I'm going to start getting into some of the records that I pulled out of the garage. Um, these followed me over here back when I very first moved into this house um, a couple years back. And uh, I've always, most of this classical stuff is mine. Um, a lot of the rock albums in here were my mom's. And uh, she had mentioned to me that she was getting rid of a lot of her stuff or wanted to get rid of a lot of her albums. And so I went through that a while back ago and picked out what I wanted. Um, but here we go. Here we have a, a classical guitar uh, album here. Like I said, I already have a copy of uh, Overture of 1812. And then I've got this one too. I don't remember where I picked this up at, but I thought it was uh, interesting when I had found it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was actually a band geek from fifth grade to all the way till my senior year in high school. And to be honest with you guys, no one ever really fucked with me over it. Um, I wouldn't say that the band was respected when I was going to school, public school. Um, I mean, it was nothing like, you know, people respected our football team that seemed to lose every game that we played. Um, I thought that was kind of funny. But I've always loved music. In fact, my whole, my whole family... Um, my two younger brothers are way, way more of a musician in their own ways than I am. It's always just something that's been kind of relaxing to me. And I never wanted to pursue it anymore, but I actually played trombone in the band. I also played saxophone, and that's where I originally started to learn the bass guitar, was on my way out of a uh, band in high school. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I thought, you know, these were pretty cool when I picked them up. Um... Also, I've got a Yes album here. This was one of my mom's, I'm guessing. Um, owner of a Lonely Hearts on here. And I mean, these things are never played hardly. Uh, you can really tell. Uh, changes. I got some other good stuff on there. Um, so, got a Yes album. And I also got another classical record here. 
Uh, I think I've listened to this one once before. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I really like classical music. Brahms is actually one of my favorite composers. And uh, this is Symphony Number no. 1 in C minor. I don't expect a lot of you guys to have much of an interest in this stuff. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really how it is. It's just how our society is. Um, I also got a Beatles album, Sgt. Pepper's. This one was also on my mom's. Um, as well as this one, Eric Clapton. I like a lot of his stuff. He's a really interesting musician. And then I also got Electric Light Orchestra, Out of the Blue. Uh, <laughs> A lot of these are just in terrific shape. This one was another one that was my mom's. And Cramage, I think you featured this in one of your videos, but I, compl I think I remember you saying that, or it must have been someone else I was watching, but just the artwork on here is just flat out amazing. You know, you don't see a lot of this type of stuff anymore, and it's just really sad. Um, let's go ahead and pull this one out. Got some light scuff marks over here. I don't think that'll affect playability. Uh, light scuff over here. Actually, I think that's just dust. Can't really tell. But more fingerprints on here than anything else. My uh, family was really good at taking care of a lot of their stuff. Um, my dad has probably one of the more interesting record collections that I've seen before. He's got a lot of the old hits or not a lot of the old hits, but a lot of the older bands. Like, he's got a lot of Pink Floyd albums. He's got a lot of Clapton stuff. He's got a lot of Jefferson Starship. Um, I think he has some King Crimson in there as well. But this one, yeah, those are just fingerprints, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to kind of clean these off and spruce them up a bit before I do play some of these. Um, especially these, you know. These are the ones that are kind of worth a little bit of money. Uh, definitely more than the classical albums that I've got. But, yeah, Electric Light Orchestra. I also got the Super Tramp one, Cramage. I do remember you had this one. Uh, you had picked it up, and I don't even remember seeing this. I was actually kind of surprised when I pulled it out of my box. I had completely forgotten about it. Um, then I've also got a uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash album. I don't know which one this is. Uh, I don't know where this one came from, actually. I actually saw those guys live when they came to Fresno back in 06. Uh, Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle, good album. I've also got Book of Dreams by Steve Miller Band. Um, there's a lot of good songs on here. This is actually one of my favorite albums by them. Uh, Jet Airliner has always been one of my favorites. Swing Town, uh, Jungle Love was good. I haven't listened to it in a while, but I remember I really liked this one. Got some scratches up here. There's mainly more dust on these than anything else. And they've been, uh, they've been stored the right way, too, you know. Um, but I guess you can't keep, can't keep nature out of things. <clears throat> so, this has kind of turned into another long video. I'm already at almost 14 minutes here, so I'll kind of try and go a little bit faster. Jefferson Starship. Haven't really listened to this one. Um, I've got another classical record here. Um, actually, these are the ones that I picked up today. Yeah, okay. I think they are. Maybe they're not. Or I just had a massive brain fart. But yeah, anyways, that's that's what I got. All these are the other classical albums I have. Like, you know, I was already saying I already had that one. Um, more classical. More classical. And uh, some old big band stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've always had, you know, an interest in classical music. And it's, you know, something that I've always liked to collect and, you know, listen to. And nowadays... Uh, I haven't done it in a while, but sometimes I like to go out in my man cave, put one of these records on, and just drink some scotch. If that's not a typical white guy thing, I don't know what is. But, uh, yeah, so I think that'll be about it for this video. Um, just a uh, somewhat of a short pickup update, I guess. So, until uh, next time, guys, don't forget to stay classy.